Uh, hey everyone so in this tutorial we will learn how to create a multi-line chart uh, using plotly in python and we'll be doing it in 10 steps as mentioned here so let's get started we'll be using two libraries one is plotly which we'll use to create the plot and the second one is pandas which we'll use to handle the data frame that we're considering so the data frame i've declared over here itself as you can see here that it has two numerical columns and one categorical column which is section and the numerical columns are weight and height so let's get started initially we'll create a basic line chart and a basic line chart is uh, pretty much the same how we create a single line chart the only addition here is the section attribute the section attribute here would be our categorical column and once we pass that uh, uh, we will get a basic line chart with three lines so this currently is a multi-line chart where we have three lines so now the what we'll do is we'll move ahead and uh, step by step we'll try to make this chart more readable and more uh, impactful so let's adjust the chart size first we'll do that by tweaking the width and the height as you can see has been done over here so once that's done I'll just execute every chunk as I proceed ahead. So next I'll be adding markers. What are markers? They are these uh, little dots that you see. And you can actually change the shape of these markers. You can make them X's as well. Uh, so here I'll just let them uh, stay as circles. And uh, so how we do that is we add this attribute called marker equal to 2. And then we can also change the size of these markers. So let's just keep it as 12 and executed so you see that the marker sizes have slightly increased the second thing the next thing that i'll do is add uh, data labels so once i add data labels by this uh, attribute which is text equal to height so you would notice here that the data labels are being plotted right on top of our markers so we don't want that to happen we want the data labels to be slightly above our markers so what i'll do is i'll tweak the uh, position of the data labels by using this attribute which is update traces text position equal to top center so once i do that and then i execute it you would notice that all the data labels have moved uh, to the top of the graph okay next i'll be adding a chart title by simply by using this statement called update layout title text equal to heights across weights and sections and then we'll give the position of the title with as the center of the entire chart next thing we would need to do is changing the color of the uh, of the line so you would notice here that i've went for a bluish greenish sort of a theme uh, so how we do that is for every section we need to specify a particular color uh, that we want to give that line okay so we have three sections so we have uh, I, here i've defined these three colors in this uh, attribute called color discrete map if we had 10 different categories we would need to come up with the 10 different uh, colors and these colors you can simply search like which colors are supported in plotly so that you will get the names of these colors and you can uh, put it inside your code so the final thing i'll do it i'll do is i have to uh, add a theme to my chart so that it looks even better so here just for a for the sake of uh, showing you an example i've plotted all these different themes but uh, let's just uh, how we do that is we simply give this put particular attribute which is template equal to whatever template that you want to select so i'll just show you all the themes that i have here and i particularly like this dark theme the most which you might have seen in the thumbnail as well so i'll simply so here's my code and let me just add, simply create the the theme name is plotly dark so i'll write it as plotly underscore dark and then execute so here is the final chart that you saw in the thumbnail. Thank you everyone.